Hey guys, we are back with another amazing episode today. After this video, you will know the best tricks for drum mixing which I myself use. Are you ready guys? See you after the music. I am Julian Maskanyas, Chief Sound Engineer at NG Studios. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? If you want to know more about audio engineering and improve your skills, please subscribe to our channel. We will give you an insider knowledge, pro tips and tricks. While you are here, why don't you hit the bell icon for latest video updates. Over the years, I have collaborated with artists such as Gypsy King, Chris Hedler, Franco Vaz, Shivamani, Ranjit Borut, Darshan Doshi, Juno Banks, Jairo Kavi, etc. Impressive list, isn't it? When mixing for them and many others, I have used this technique you will find in this video. Many people are scared to mix drums. But don't worry, I am here to guide you guys. I will teach you the basic technique and help you avoid common mistakes. Thumb rule. Treat drums as one whole instrument and know what you are mixing for. Let's start by arranging the tracks and create some aux buses to start drum mixing. Let me show you in the DAW. So guys, this is the session for drum bus. I am going to do an assignment. This is all the drum tracks. What I will do? I'm going to press alt shift and go to output say new track and we'll say drum bus so this is the main bus for the drums now the next step what we are going to do is we are going to give sub auxiliary tracks to kick in kick out snare top snare bottom and overheads so kick in kick out just press alt shift on your keyboard then go to the output and say new track just write kick press create when you create this, this will go to the default output, say output 1 and 2. We want it to go to the drum bus. So what we will do is we go to the output, say bus and then we'll go to drum bus. Same way we will go for snare top and snare bottom, press alt shift go to output say new track say snare create default output go to one to go to bus and say drum bus now same way we have to go to the overheads so say new track say heads or overheads whatever say after that the output go to bus say drum bus that's it guys after this subgroups you can see that all the drums all the drums uh, will uh, go to the drum bus if you mute it everything will go so you have a control in one fader so that you can eq and bus compression and stuff which is which i am going to uh, tell you ahead in this video next we are going to process bass guitar and kick play both bass and kick together find the clashing frequency with an analyzer apply in dynamic eq and duck that particular clashing frequency in one of the track. Let me show you in Pro Tools. 
So guys, before the drum balance and processing, just one thing I would uh, like to inform you, just uh, play the kick and find the clashing of frequency with the bass guitar. Just find the peak frequency now of the kick. So it's between 95 and 100 is the peak frequency what you can do is uh, insert a dynamic eq on the bass guitar before you forget then go for 95 as a center frequency i would say 96 then duck it the check so why i'm doing this is just to make uh, sure that uh, after the balance of the drum set if i open up the bass guitar it should sound clean so you can do after the balance also but uh, this is uh, the preparedness before uh, the balance uh, with the bass guitar bass and drums is very important for the song so at present this is fine if you don't know the difference between eq and dynamic eq don't worry we have you covered check out over here once you're done with EQ of bass and kick, now mute the bass. Start balancing the drums. Take your own time because this step is very important. So try to get your balance right. Let's go ahead with the dog. So guys, after the ducking of that particular frequency on bass, what you can do just mute the bass and start balancing the drums one by one and if you can you can put uh, any kind of uh, compressor on the track so let's uh, let's play the whole drum set what i'll do just decrease the levels of this just balancing the drum to get the vibe after the balance uh, you can what you can do is as you can see the kick dynamics are ups and downs ups and downs even the snare so what you can do just uh, put a compressor a simple compressor i can put a uh, stock plugin on the kick
if you can go to preset also you can check if you want any kind of preset but i am happy with the refactor default So the same thing I can put it in the snare also. It's the top. So just for the compression sake I am soloing it, not for the balance. That's all. Now let's go to overheads. So you can put a small compressor over here also, a small but not a heavy compression but a, a mild uh, compression uh, for the overheads. Uh, you can go for That's it guys, now you can balance it and check. This is the hi-hats. I, I I think the balance is very nice now let's uh, go for EQ of uh, kick what you can do So not much EQ. I think the balance is fine. Now back to the main topic at hand. Treat this as a thumb roll. Make sure to balance and 
pan according to your taste and requirement of the song. For example, if the snare is panned dead center, it can also be panned off left. It all depends upon the arrangement of the song. Don't panic and start processing your snare, toms and other elements one by one. That's the common mistake everyone does. You should start processing with other elements so that you can find the clashing frequency and phase issues. Check any ringing frequency in the drum set. If you find, then cut it with the bell EQ. So guys, you should also able to find all the bad resonance of uh, snare, toms, uh, stuff like that. So I'll give you one example to find out the bad resonance of snare. So this is the snare track. So now you have to solo the snare track to find that bad resonance. Just let's insert a EQ from five filter. Q2 will insert. Uh, select bell EQ now. Try to find out that resonant frequency, bad resonant frequency. Oh, very bad. Oh, just decrease it and check now. Oh, it's become very clean. Now here with the track because it's very important to hear with the track with the whole drum set. I think it's fine. Here are the drum set in mono. If you feel your snare tom over it, it not sounding properly, then that is a phase problem. Cause in mono, phase cancellation will not be audible clearly. Always check with an analyzer if there are any phase issues on drum. Phase can be corrected by panning and also by inverting the phase by pressing phase button. Let's see how to check phase in a DAW. So guys, after that ringing resonance frequency, uh, you can uh, check the phase cancellation of each elements and also monitor in mono and check the drum balance. So first, uh, what I'll be doing this, I'll just check in the kick in kick out sound. Uh, somehow I feel I'm not uh, happy with the sound uh, so what I can do is I'm going to invert phase in one of the kick track you can always do it whenever you find there is some kind of problem in the kick so what I'm going to do is put an stock plug in one band EQ and if you play it hear the thing by doing the invert phase I think by inverting phase it's little tight so what I can do is uh, uh, just play the kick with the track if it's sounding nice I will not touch it I think it's nice so you can check with the snare top bottom also like this I think this is fine actually I'm just checking it 
No, no. So the kick thing worked by inverting face. Snare is fine. Now what you can do, you uh, hear the whole drum set in uh, mono. Oh, that's fine uh, now what you can uh, do is uh, after checking mono I think the balance is fine you can check the overheads of face cancellation also if it's there I think everything is everything is fine now check the overall face cancellation the face is everything is okay now so the drums sound decent, but there are more to do. Before that, all artists need to improve their skills. To do that, be like a painter and learn from the masters. Look at how drums are mixed in classic songs. Some of my personal favorites are one from Metallica, Back in Black from ACDC, The Trooper from Iron Maiden, I Just Died in Your Arms from Cutting Crew, Nathan Parande and Sadahak from Rockstars, Bark DK Bose from Delhi Billy and Rock On title song. There are many more. Listen to your favorite songs carefully. You will find waves you didn't think of and use them in your mixes. Each genre has a different drum sound. In jazz, the drum process has to be smooth. In hard rock, it has to be pounding and hard. Enough about myself. Do let me know your favorite drum track. Comment below.